Okay, so I am it's Mommy of Nine. Hello. I'm going to do a semi sort vlog that is about something a little controversial that people, parents have varying views on. Now, it's about punishment whether you should spank, not spank, corner, not corner, things like that. I'm a mother of nine children. These are little drawings my kids drew on me, by the way. They're not tattoos, so just so you know. Um, I'm a mom of nine. Just to give you a little bit, you know, more of a background. All my kids, you know, are on the honor roll. They've never been in any trouble. Um, they don't curse at me. They don't disrespect me. They do their chores. They have done chores since the age of five. You know... They're all respectful. They don't fight with each other. If they do, they have consequences. And yes, some of those consequences are spanking. I'm going to go over when it's appropriate to spank and when it's not appropriate to spank. And all these new wave Hollywood theories, Hollywood mom theories of, oh, well, I'm not going to spank my kids. I'm just going to put them in the corner and give them corner time. And then I'm going to let them go play on their tablet for four hours. And then let them eat a bunch of, you know, let them, you know, eat a bunch of food. That's like, you know, of course, because I've been told it's good for them. I'm just going to have them eat like tofu and rice milk and all this stuff. You know, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm, I'm. I like having my kids eat healthy too, but I mean, there comes a point where having them eat wheatgrass and tofu 24-7 is going to make them one day go to the corner store and steal a, steal a bag of Skittles just to shove their face full of junk food. Everything in moderation, people. Everything in moderation. Again, you can take what I'm saying and you can throw it out the window or you can actually apply it to your life. I'm part of a group not going to mention the group because I don't think it's appropriate but I have like six seven out of ten moms telling me their kids fight their, they can't get their kids to do chores they their kids argue all the time their kids are brats they can't take them out in public they can't do this they can't do that but oh god forbid they don't spank them they don't make them you know get their crap together basically I'm sorry, but not only are my kids mostly good at home, of course they throw fits, they're children, their little kids are going to throw fits, they're going to fight, they're going to have sibling rivalries, but not to the extent of what I've been hearing, and also, you know, they can't take them out. They can't take them out to a restaurant. They can't take them to a park. They can't take them anywhere because they fight or they run off or they don't stay next to them or anything like that. I can tell you right now, I have never had that problem. I'm going to tell you what I do, what my beliefs are, and you can take it or you can leave it. You can ask me questions below down in the comment section on what my kids are like, how my kids are. Um, I have two kids that have YouTube channels. One is called Hey Mickey. One's called uh, Game Design Gentlemen. Uh, they're 18 and 21. Um, one's in college for game design. One graduated school with honors is going to law school. My son is 14. He is a football player. He busts his, he's a 4.0. You know, he's had a girlfriend in the past, realizes now that it's just not his time to have a girlfriend. He doesn't want one. But I gotta tell you right now, all my kids, from my older ones to my younger ones, they would bust their butt for each other. Like, my six-year-old literally goes and picks up my nine-month-old baby when he's crying. He's like, oh, it's okay, Kimo. I love you. I love you. It'll be all right. He doesn't hit him or kick him. There's no jealousy issues, and that comes from the way you raise your kids from the time they're babies. And, yes, some people say, oh, you can't blame the parents for everything. No, you can't. Not when they're adults and you've raised them right, and they decide to go rob a bank. That's their decision. But when 
they're young and you're raising them up and they're four, five, and six and you're saying you can't take them out or they're beating each other up or they're cursing you or throwing things at you, things like that. I'm sorry, but there's a fault somewhere in the parenting. There's a fault somewhere in what you're doing. Okay, if you're gonna, and I have people telling me, well, you know, there's articles that say that you shouldn't spank. Yeah, well, you know what? 20 years ago, there was articles that said smoking was perfectly good for you. All articles and all science, all information that you read isn't always correct, isn't always the right way to do things. You have to think for yourself. Think for yourself what's the right way to do things and how should you do them. Okay, so the way I do things is if my kids, like, say they were not in the middle of the street, okay, I go out there, I get them, I swat their butt good. I'd rather their butt sting than them getting smashed in the middle of the road by a car. You know what? They feel that sting on their butt. They get put in their room for the rest of the day. They are not going to go on that road again. What are you going to do? Pull your kid out of the middle of the road and go, No, 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 Johnny. Time to go in the timeout chair for two minutes. He's going to sit there for two minutes and be like, Dum, da 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 dum. And the next day he's going to run in the middle of the street again because you know what? The timeout chair for two minutes was nothing. Nothing. He's going to be like, I want nothing. The punishment has to fit the crime. I'm not saying whoop your kid for taking some baby carrots out of the fridge without permission. I'm not talking about abuse. I'm talking about be I'm not talking about beating a child. I'm not talking about using belts or anything like that. I'm talking about hand on butt, which is completely legal by the way. Hand on hand, completely legal by the way. You know, and hand on butt with, you know, pants on, not naked butt. You know, don't use belts, don't use shoes, don't use like, you know, all that stuff. Now, you know, my kids take something that doesn't belong to them. I take their hand. I smack the top of their hand with my hand. They feel that sting. They're not going to want to take something from somebody else again. Now if my daughter hits my son, instead of spanking her and teaching her, oh, well, violence is a cure for violence, I make them sit together hold hands and tell each other like one on one like going like you know the first one the second one the first one the second one telling each other what they love about each other five to ten times they sit down they hold each other's hands which they hate by the way this is something that my kids absolutely hate doing but they do it and at the end of it they're laughing and they're getting along again sit there for ten minutes holding each other's hands I love the way your hair smells and the other person says well I love the way you help me with my homework. This one says, well, I love the way you pick out movies. Things like that. Not to tell each other what they love about each other. I also have a get along shirt. Which if they're not getting along, I have one big shirt that they share. They put on together and they have to walk around the entire day in it. Aside from using the bathroom and showering, they have to wear that shirt, drink everything. Which means one hand has to use one hand, the other one has to use the other hand. So if they eat, they gotta help each other. If they want to play, they get to play together. If they want to do other things, they have to do these things together. So there's ways of handling things, and there is a lot of the new wave things of handling things I do agree with, and I do implement. Time out chair, definitely implementing is a good thing to do. Like if you're potty training and your little girl pee pees on your pants, you, know, you put her on the potty for a few minutes and then you put her in the timeout chair because she pee peed herself. Okay. That's appropriate. Another thing is don't make your kid potty train too early. Technically, potty training for a boy is not supposed to happen until between the age of three and four. A girl between the ages of two and three. That is standard. So don't expect your kid to be one and a half just because they're walking around and all of a sudden using the toilet. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. And if you're going to you spank him for that, that's just not nice. It's just rude and mean. Also, kids wet the bed. 
sometimes kids have problems writing in the bed up until ages of 12 and 13. It's not gross, it's a problem. There's nothing they can do about it, so don't spank them for it. Have them get up, make their bed, have them take responsibility for what they did, strip their bed, remake their bed, clean themselves up, and go back to bed. And then you don't give them something to drink at least two hours before bedtime. You wake them up at 11 o'clock every night, have them go potty, and then put them back to bed. There's ways of doing things, but you know what? I'm so tired of the don't hit or you're abusive situation. Yes, there's abuse, and then there's spanking. There's swatting on the hand. There's things like that. I'm sorry. But now the things the kids are allowed to do are making them fat and lazy. They sit in front of TVs and, and video games, and they do nothing, but get fat and lazy, learn nothing, do nothing. When we were kids, we ate ho-hos and ding-dongs for snacks, and we weren't fat, and we weren't lazy. We were outside playing all day. So, you know, it's not about what you eat. It is about what you eat for health-wise, but it's not about what you eat as far as being fat. It's about what you do. You can eat carrots all damn day, but if you sit on your ass, excuse my language, and you play video games all day because Mommy Dira said it was okay, you're going to get fat. If you're told that you run the world, then the first time you take away something from your kid or swat your kid on the butt and they call CPS on you, they're going to think they have the right to do that. I'm sorry, I tell my kids, call CPS on me, and by the time they get here, they'll have a reason to arrest me. So, that's just my opinion for the day, my rant for the day on punishments. I'll probably have a few more. But in my opinion, it's absolutely okay to spank if it's in a serious situation. Everything in moderation, healthy eating, timeout chair. If you have any questions on different ways of punishment, contact me below. Bye.